There we go. Commerce income is now 120. <laughs> the system's making me actually pay attention to commerce now. And it's making me a lot more money as a result. Oh, here come their armies. Let's make sure we get these areas properly fortified. Oof, don't get stack wiped. Shoot. I got a bit cocky there. I wasn't really expecting them to be able to put up a fight and I just lost a whole stack because of it. I think we might be about to lose another one as well. All right, well, third one lucky. I think I've taken more casualties fighting this than I took fighting Macedonia. So I want to get it back to a 24-8-2. That means another 12 of these. I need to be back in territory I own. Come on. There we go. Okay, so they actually have a couple of forts over on that side. This one man, 1,000 man unit spam again, unfortunately. Alright, what are you lacking? Um, actually, not sure. Dies. gives noble happiness and there are a lot of nobles there. That's literally all I want from you, so um, I'm going to save and then I'll do the peace deal. Because I want to make sure that is in fact everything that I want from you, because it doesn't feel like very much. But yeah, all I wanted was Dardania!
which I now have. And then I need to take one province here from Macedon. And then we've done the northern sweep too. So that's that's all I needed from Getia. My work here is finished. How are we doing with the integration of the Macedonians? We're almost done. 96%. Heck yeah. And you are back in my own territory. Yes, you are. So I'm going to want you to gain 12 more of these. And four more of those. And then you'll be at the same strength as the other fighting cohort. And then we'll get the engineers to do the, um, well, engineering. Engineering. Affirmative. Engineering. I am not displaying all of the families. So we got the reds. You're not actually the head of the blues. So you are. They've actually made the, the headlines a little bit clearer. That's a good change. It was a little bit hard to see previously. Like, it was really good that it showed. But it was a little bit unclear. Now they've added, like, the, the extra shadow highlight underneath it. And you can really see who the faction leader is. So there we go. Oh, you want to know what the bonus... Okay, you've shown it. <laughs> Sorry. What dates again? It's a fruit. No, what bonus do they have? Gilmore, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Macedonians are integrated. And here we go. Embrace Italo-Greek influence. This will give me plus five combat and planes, which is good for us. And, most importantly, gives me access to the Greek traditions which means more heavy infantry and also more siege defense like the city state fortifications i think will be really good for us oh and a free fortress in rome too cool and the biggest boats that's also true okay rome is missing a copy of leather Easily replaced. Pella's missing something again. Pella doesn't have cloth. Yeah, have some cloth. You want wine. Well, no, you want citizen stuff. There is no citizen stuff. Have some wine. And you... Probably actually, you already have stone. Olives? Olives. Back up to speed four because... We are not a million miles away from another war. But in the meantime, we may as well do some drilling because the experience of our armies has been lacking of late. <coughs> I'm sure that Valero can cover those costs. Oh no, that wasn't leather. What did we lose this time? It was leather. I just hadn't disappeared yet. Um, wait, do we not have base metals here? Why are you showing us one when there aren't any? Because there aren't any. 54 livestock. There's a lot of food kicking around. I 
keeps on saying that there are metals available, but there aren't. Well, I guess we could go for another copy of cloth just to, you know, make us the money. And if you give a tip about road building, yeah, sure, go for it. Like, if it's something I clearly don't know and it's a mechanic I probably should know, then please do tell me. If it's like spoiling something about the story, like, this event's going to hit you in the future, don't tell me. Um, right, so the Fabii have a scrawned family. This is the monthly military experience. And it's the yellows, which are level 1s. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, why are the yellows so bad at the moment? So the blues have two extra positions. Hold on. Let's go back to the yellows and see if they have anyone that's in a really good spot. So they have one zeal. They have an orator. That's a very good orator. Which could replace the green. Which means the greens are now scorned. But the greens may have some... Oh no, it's the greens. The greens aren't going to have anything. Oh, yes they are. They have another orator. And if I remember correctly, we have a really bad tech orator guy. Not really, but we are still going to replace you because you are better. That means that the scorned family is now red. So what do the reds got? That's another orator. Zeal. Just zeal. Changing a level 9 for a level 6. I don't think that's a very good trade. Unfortunately, my legion's starting to really suffer from just really bad people in their ranks. You've got a reinforcement at least. And we still need a better Tribus Militum, which is going to be Gaius Resius. That's the reason I got rid of him. Because he is the highest ranking military we have. And I kind of want to have... I mean, the problem is monthly experience and money. Both kind of important positions, which is why you really want to have very good... Military skill people doing that. Oh, we gained another slot. We're now up to 20 here. Um, I think we'll probably just double down on the... Oh, no, got another leather. Get the leather. Our generals are so bad at the moment. So, so bad. Plus one engineer, plus nine in light infantry as road building legion. Engineers dramatically lower the cost of building roads. From 50 to 10, we need a stack of 10 units. Yeah, that's why I've been using him. Which is why I switched away from my army to this. The main reason I had the engineers in this area is because I wanted the engineers to be capturing forts, which is their primary purpose. 
But once the forts were taken, I could put them back to road building. That was an admiral. That was the big boat admiral. Severus Pertinax is not terrible. Your loyalty is in some question. You're not the main admiral. You're just one of the admirals. Um, don't we have a surplus of blues? We do. So I can actually lose him. He's the best military mind we've got, though. I have three military. As a tribune. Three! Three! Uh, barbarians. That's a little annoying. Because you've now got to go a really long way. Also, we do want to build a road out to that fort and also that one. So, we have some road expansion to do. And you're still drilling. Good stuff. Because it is 6.03, we're not a million miles away from... Another war against the Macedonians for the south and for the north. I only have a lot of money again, so let's go and build some more marketplaces. do for that. Let's build two more aqueducts in Rome just to keep that going. And then I guess we're just going to con continue building foundries pretty much everywhere we can. Because the more foundries we have, the more trade goods we produce. The more trade goods we produce, the more we trade. The more we trade, the more money we make, the more foundries we can get. Uh, population capacity is civics. Okay. We already got the urban planning from civics. Don't need any of the tribal stuff. Export val- Ah, yes, we were doing the trade stuff here. Citizen output would be nice, but I don't think that's going to be as important as lighthouses. Export value plus 10. Construction of lighthouses is an absolute necessity to keep the flow of trade safe in our nation. The concept of lighthouses developed from simple hill fires to grand edifices such as the Lighthouse at Alexandria. Wait, where'd the barbarians go? Hey, barbarians! Did they run off and get killed? What happened? I guess they did. No, there they are. I see you. I mean, actually thinking about it, what I could do is just hire a unit of mercenaries. And just leave them up here and not trust this to a legion at all. We're basically transitioning from High Roman Empire to Late Roman Empire using auxiliary mercenaries to protect our boundaries. I, d I don't see how anything could go wrong with this. I think it's a fantastic plan. It cost me nine ducats a month. That seems rather pricey. The residents of Grumuntum are holding a celebration in honour of their much-beloved governor, Agrippa Cassi, renowned for his beneficence, tolerance and common sense. Sure. Let's celebrate. I got the Marius reform. The problem is, somehow it got revoked. And I'm still not entirely sure how that happened.
Because I'm back to the Punic reform. Yeah, I really need to improve my road network out here. The bits through the Alps is a bit of a mess. Why not raise another legion? Can't. I can only have one. I could have some more cohorts. But no more legions. Are you done? You are done. Eventually I'd like to get a road out to you, but right now I want to go and attack Macedon. Nah, because I check and I double check every time a party says, hey, we want to do the thing. Because I don't trust them. Because at one point that law change did come through and I went, hell no. A Carthaginian civil war. Tisk tisk. New omen. Um, we're about to go to war again, so I think I'm going to grab the discipline. Trade hub. We are definitely going to do encourage the merchants. Come on in. Your experience is now 43. Yours is 9. All of my great military generals are just dying. You're already the censor. <laughs> it drops 10, 10, 9, 7, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Like, Rome just doesn't have anybody that's capable of actually, you know, doing any fighting. I think it's going to be you, so Classes Fishy is going to lose their excellent Admiral. Because I need him in, like, an office of state. At least you're loyal. Who scorned? Greens. Damn it. Oh no, that's because of you. Yeah, that's fine. You're in a more important position. I mean, I think we're seeing a really bad side of the families because we're not a monarchy. The families in this game are clearly geared for monarchies. In republics, the, they don't make any sense because you're constantly switching. Like, I, I have no interest in building up any of these families because why the hell would I? I don't control them. Whereas if you're playing as a monarchy, one of them is your family. And then the others are just the powerful nobles. Small like CK2 and 3. Alright, legions are pretty much back in town. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to position a legion over here. I'm going to position a legion down here. And then I'm going to have the sieges over here. We're going to try and grab this as quickly as we can. Station a legion here to stop them from counterattacking through the gap, and then we'll have the engineers and the other legion down in the south so we can grab as much of that territory as we can. That's the plan, anyway. And hopefully, we've robbed them of a lot of their levy strength because we've taken the biggest chunk of Greece. We have a thousand ducats. Should probably spend some. Um, foundries. Definitely the foundries. Oh, we spend that ground pretty quickly. Okay, here we go. Round two. Dobros. 
Where is Doboros? Oh, Paonia. That one. Okay. Wait, that's their capital? <laughs> Alright, let's do the import thing again. There are some precious resources. I'm going to go ahead and stack those up in the capital, because this is where we make the most money. Let oh, we lost our cloth. That's interesting. Alright, where else? This is slave area, so you can do with stone. This is also a slave area. You can do with stone as well. So is this. So can you. This is 100% Freeman. So I'm going to go with wine. No, I'm going to go with base metal. It's worth more money. This is just trade. All the cloth is gone. Why is the cloth gone? Wine, base metals. From the world having way too much cloth to it having zero. It's a bit of a surprise. out of all the valuable resources. Wait, no, you don't want to buy from Latium. We can get more money by exporting that directly to somebody else. Carthage is going to be making so much money from us. Because they keep appearing first in the list. <laughs> Oops, no, that's Tuskia. Kind of annoying that it filters your own ones at the top. Let's go with those two. And you are going to need some livestock. Oh, yeah. What do you need? You need five things. Crikey. Olives? You can have some olives. And stone. You can have some stone. Is this Pella? This is Pella. Which is going to have a fairly decent slave population, I guess. 